In this video, we should see the frequency response of uh, RC meters using LT spice. So, this is a circuit what we discussed in the uh, previous uh, uh, RC meter analysis. So, this is a low pass uh, circuit. So, let us uh, try to write the same circuit over here and uh, we have obtained the transfer function of this particular network as 1 over 1 plus RCS and uh, we obtained the expression for the magnitude and for the phase. So, and this is the magnitude in terms of dB and we gave different values of omega uh, starting from 0 to infinity and in between we gave the value of omega in terms of 1 over RC and 10 omega RC and we have uh, found the magnitude in terms of dB which is 0 dB for 0 frequency and it was uh, heat reducing. We observed that the frequency was increasing by 10 times, the gain was reducing by 20 dB and we also observed that uh, at frequency uh, omega is equal to 1 over RC, the phase was equal to minus 45 dB and uh, we have also uh, saw the frequency uh, variation, the gain of the variation of the gain with respect to frequency and it was keep reducing here and we obtained an expression for the cutoff frequency which is uh, FC is given by 1 over 2 pi RC. So we should take in uh, RC network having a value of R as 1k and C as a point for microfarad. So then this FC happens to be 1.59 kilohertz. So let us try to uh, do the simulation using LT space. And I can see this is uh, an low pass RC network. So having the register 1k here and C is equal to 0.1 microfarad. I applied a source V1. So let us see what are the uh, simulation setup we have to do for this input voltage in order to see the frequency response. So as you know that uh, we are supposed to keep the input amplitude constant and we are supposed to vary the frequency. So we have to use a source, so which is V1 here. Now the source should be uh, none of these, that is uh, it should not be a pulse, it should not be a sine wave and it should not be none of these. So let us select none and we should specify the amplitude as uh, 1 here and no need to specify the AC phase and uh, uh, let us leave this blank as by default. I can see now it's an AC amplitude of 1. Now here we are not specified the frequency. The frequency will be specified in the simulation command. So for which we will go to the simulate, edit simulation command. So here uh, we are not seeing the x-axis of our frequency response is frequency. So we cannot use tangent where the x-axis is time. So we have to use this uh, AC sweep where uh, the x-axis is the frequency. Now we are supposed to specify the type of the sweep which is usually decay. Why it is decay is because we are using a, a logarithmic sheet where on the x-axis uh, the logarithmic variation is in terms of decay. So number of points per decade. So let us have it as 100 so that we can get a smooth graph. So this start frequency of this frequency uh, response of this RC network let it be 1 hertz. So let us uh, vary the frequency up to uh, maybe uh, 1 megahertz. So in order to uh, specify 1 megahertz it is not 1 capital M or small m. So we have to specify we have to write it as 1 MEG. So MEG is the uh, indication this is indicating this is uh, going up to 1 megahertz. Now this is the AC dot AC setup where we are specifying uh, the sweep type as decade. So it is uh, 100 points and start frequency is 1. The end frequency is 1 megahertz. So now I can uh, run the uh, simulation. If I'm running, so we can see now the x axis is varying from 1, 1 hertz to 1 megahertz. You can see the variation is exactly the way how it is looking in your semi log sheet. Now you can see uh, this is logarithmically varying. So let us see the input here. Since the input or amplitude is constant, I can see uh, V of input is uh, 0 dB because log of 20 log of 1 is 0 dB here. So let us see the output voltage here. So this is the output voltage. Please just have a look at uh, this output. Let me slightly change the color of uh, this graph. Now it is uh, red. Now I can clearly make out uh, this is the red, it is the output. So let us try to find out what is the magnitude of the output waveform. Now this is the output the plot, the red one. So let us uh, use both the cursors on that red one. You can see now I just played one in the uh, frequency where it is passing the entire signal. 
and uh, let us try to find out the cutoff frequency. Now, as you might have seen that uh, the value of R is 1 kilohertz and C is 0.1 microfarad. We are supposed to have a cutoff frequency as 1.59 kilohertz. So, for which, so we know that uh, this is uh, cursor 1, this is cursor 2. So, as we saw in the uh, slides, so you might have seen in the slides that the cutoff frequency corresponds to a uh, frequency at which the magnitude is 3, 3 dB down. So let us uh, try to go back and uh, see here. So this is uh, 0 dB here and see this is uh, cursor 1 so which is running on output. Cursor 2 is also running on the output. See here this is at 14 Hz so which is over here. So fairly it is constant from 1 Hz to uh, lower frequencies it is 0 dB only. So which you can make out here now it is uh, almost 346 uh, micro dB which is uh, approximately 0 dB. Now let me uh, move cursor 2 so that uh, this difference that is difference in magnitude between this and the second one happens to be 3 dB. Now it is almost uh, uh, 1.4 dB. So let me move this uh, cursor 2 still uh, further away towards the right side. You can see now the magnitude is uh, keep increasing. So let me just uh, make it close to 3 dB. So please make an observ observation here. So this should become 3 dB now. So it is more than 3 dB. So let me just make it close to 3 dB. So now somewhere it is 4.8, 4.5. Now it is uh, 3.8. Now it is close to 3 now. Now here it is 3 dB. Now it is 3.08 dB. See the corresponding frequency. Now it is not exactly 3 dB, it is slightly more than 3 dB. Now you can say it is 1.61 kHz. We expected 1.59. If you want to have a precise uh, uh, reading, so we can certainly zoom this and then uh, do a better uh, reading. So now I can just slightly move this so that that difference comes out to be exactly 3. Now it is somewhere here. Now you can see now it is almost uh, now let me move the other cursor to the now this has also moved. Let me move this away now. I can see now it's almost 3.2. Now let me just make it close to 3. Now it is now I can see it is 1.58 kilohertz, uh, which happens to be our cutoff frequency. So let us also find uh, the slope of this line. Uh, to find the slope of this line, the slope will be always found in the stop band. So you can see now this is the pass band where it is allowing the signal. Uh, 0 dB output uh, corresponds to the output is equal to input. So there is no attenuation. But at frequencies beyond 1.5 kHz, output start reducing, meaning that there is attenuation. So it is now in the stop band. So let me uh, move this uh, cursor to deep in the stop band. So let me just keep it somewhere here. Now, need not be uh, 10 by RC, so I'm just keeping this at 11.83 kilohertz. Let me keep this uh, another cursor 10 times of this. So exactly when it is uh, 11. Point, uh, this is 11.89, so let this be 118.9. If it is 118.9, it, it is sure that okay, the ratio becomes uh, ratio becomes 10. Now you can see now it is 100 and let me make it 118. Let me move this cursor still for a bit. Now it is almost close. Now you can see this is 100. And, sorry, this is 11.8. The cursor uh, two frequency. This is 11.8. This is cursor one. The cursor one frequency is 118. If you take the ratio of 118 by 11.8, it exactly comes out to be 10. See the difference in the magnitude of uh, this and this. So the cursor 2 which is at 11.8 kilohertz is at uh, minus 17. The cursor which is at 118 is at minus 37. You can clearly see that there is a difference of 20 dB down here. So that's what is observed here. You can see it is 19.87. So this way we can able to uh, find the roll off. So roll off of this circuit is now minus 20 dB per decade because for every uh, frequency increment by 10 times the gain is reducing by 20 dB. So this way we can find the cutoff frequency that is 3 dB from the maximum and the roll off so that is we have to consider two frequencies in the stop band 
one at a frequency uh, any frequency which is in the soft band it can be 11.8 it can be 25 if it is 25 you have to go to 250 kilohertz then the ratio of frequency is 10 and the difference in gain will be 20 dB. So let us do the same thing for high pass filter and try to see uh, what is the cutoff frequency, how does the shape of the graph looks like and what is the roll up of the uh, high pass filter. As we discussed in the previous uh, videos, and this is the second RC network uh, which, which is uh, found out to be a high pass filter. So we actually obtain the transfer function for that high pass filter and uh, we obtain the uh, frequency response. So one is the magnitude plot and there is the phase. So you can you can certainly see the cutoff frequency equation is 1 over 2 pi RC. So this is a high pass filter. So let us do the same thing in the LT spines and try to get the frequency response. Uh, this is a circuit of a high pass filter. As you can see, I made the circuit uh, using a source of AC of magnitude 1 and there is a dot uh, AC command used with a decade speed starting from uh, 1 hertz to 1 megahertz uh, with 100 points per decade. So if I uh, run this, now I have used the same value of R and C which is 1 kilo ohms and 0.1 microfarad. Uh, let me just run this and then uh, see what is the plot is. You see now this is uh, the plot, the input is constant at 0 dB. You can see the output is varying initially, uh, it, it is keep on increasing and it becomes stable. Now to find the cutoff frequency, again we are supposed to have two cursors on the input plot. So I am having both the cursors. You place uh, one cursor at the uh, 0 dB point. The other cursor you move such that uh, this is 3 dB now. So now let me just move the other cursor. Please have a look at the difference of magnitude here. The difference of magnitude be uh, 3 dB so that uh, the corresponding frequency happens to be the cutoff frequency. In this case also the cutoff frequency is happens to be 1.58 uh, uh, kilohertz. So you can see it is 1.5826 kilohertz. Now this is in the uh, pass band which happens to be at uh, 238 kilohertz. Now any, any frequency beyond uh, this we call it as a uh, uh, pass band. So I kept the frequency which is something uh, 328 in the pass band. Now this is the cutoff frequency. Let me see what is the roll up here. And it is also uh, worth to notice that uh, at this cutoff frequency of uh, 1.8 kilohertz, you can just have a look at the phase. Phase, you can see it is 45 degree. So that's what we saw in the uh, slide. So you can see uh, when uh, omega is equal to 1 over RC, this is 1 over RC, the corresponding phase is 45 degree. So this is 45 degree, which is clearly visible in your LT spice also. So this is a cutoff frequency. This is cursor 2. The corresponding frequency is 1.58 kilohertz. You can see the corresponding phase is 45 degree. And uh, when you go to a frequency which is uh, very low, so as as we found in the previous cases, the in the frequency is very low. So let me just go back to slide and see. When the frequency is very low, we are supposed to have a phase of uh, 90 degree. So we just verify the same thing in LT spines. Now I just kept it at. Uh, you can see the cursor one. Cursor, cursor 2 corresponds to this uh, low frequency thing. You can see this is uh, the cursor 2. The cursor 2 is at uh, uh, 7.21 hertz. You can see the frequency is, sorry, the phase is almost 89.7 degrees. So this is the phase. The phase is uh, almost close to 90. Suppose if I just move this down here, now it is moving close towards 90 degrees. Suppose if you are moving towards the cutoff frequency, it comes out to be 45 degree. So let us have a look at what is the slope of this. So I'll keep this at uh, this is 8.67 hertz. Let me keep the other frequency which is 10 times more than that. So once it is 8.6, let me keep it at 8, 86. So when it is 86, the difference in frequency, difference in magnitude. You can see the ratio of these two frequencies 86 kilohertz and 8.6. Sorry, this is 86 hertz and this is 8.6 hertz, you can see the difference in the magnitude is almost 20 dB. Now this is increasing. So there is an increase in uh, gain as the frequency increases by uh, 10 times. So this is what is called as a plus 20 dB per decade as a slope. And we have observed that uh, at cutoff frequency the phase of the uh, circuit is uh, at 45 degree as it was same in your uh, calculation using equations.